Chris Shannon. So, 10 readings. One card each. $10. 10 readings, $10 each. Okay. First card is from the New Orleans Oracle deck. I'm not describing the reading. I'm just pulling the card. I'll read what's on the card. And that is it. If you want your own reading, feel free to reach out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm doing this in my window. Because <laughs> the light shines better. The sunset is so pretty. Okay. Bad card. Share your gifts. Okay, so this card came out initially. So it must be really this card. Like, share your gifts. It's a number eight card. Woo! What gifts do you have that you are not sharing? I want to tell you something that I learned about sharing gifts. Um, if you don't open the gift... It's just a present. What's inside? What is inside? The next card is coming from affirmation cards. The goal, the end goal of this is to get to Wisdom of the Week Wednesday. Um, eventually, somewhere along my timeline, I will get back into my podcast. I'm doing this because Spirit said so. Well, two cards came out. Which one? What, what, which one? Which one? Oh, okay. Today I am accepting. Today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideals and opportunities. Because how else are you going to share your gifts if you don't listen and if you don't open yourself up to be in places where your gift is giving? All right. And then we're going to move on to some meditation cards. So we need something to always center us, ground us, come back full circle. And sometimes it's a question. That makes us stop and be still. A question that we have about ourselves. These are coming out in twos. So, oh. They said read both of these. But it's supposed to be one card per deck. Um, okay. Okay. Since we did an affirmation card, because this deck comes with meditation, quote, quotes to meditate on and affirmations. So I'm not going to read the affirmation, but I will read the quote to meditate on. Just as rust, and these are like word plays, because this comes from the Buddha. Just as rust eats away the iron from which it is produced, so do their own deeds lead the overindulgent into a miserable state. Child, if y'all don't share... Ooh, if we don't share, because I don't be sharing either. <laughs> but I'm doing my best. I get, I'm getting better. I'm realizing that I have patterns. Which one? The next card is coming from self-care. My self-care deck. Um... Okay, so because I did birth trauma training today, I'm not going to put anybody into a sense of having to think. Um, you already know what it is. So the self-care is read an inspiring book. Sometimes in order for us to do what we're supposed to do in life, we have to be inspired by others, which typically means that, you know, you need to go out there and expand your horizons. The next card is going to come from my moon my lunar oracle cards this is all about the moon the different phases the different types of moon and the different zodiacs in the moon came out in one 
Oh, it's a water sign. Considering we are just leaving Scorpio New Moon. Um, spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. Very much valid for this energy that we're in. Not supposed to be reading them because <laughs> I was finna get the going. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about our chakras because although we can have a place of knowing, which is the gift card, affirmations, which is speaking, um, self care, which is doing, reflection, introspection, and meditation, focusing on self and emotions. We also need to make sure that we stay aligned. So, pre-shuffle, we just, you know, letting these cards reveal themselves. Letting these energies, entities, ancestors, angels, spirits, demons, gods, goddesses, gods, empresses, emperors, priests and priestesses, goblins, ghouls, and humans. Because those are different entities as well. I was going to say that. Ooh. This card should have been towards the end, but I like how pretty it is. Fifth chakra is the throat chakra. Connect with spirit. Wisdom of the week. Woo. I develop a quiet mind that allows me to tune in and get in touch with my higher self or my spirit. I listen for the guidance that is there waiting for me to hear. I am open to the truth and I welcome spiritual inspiration from others. I will benefit greatly by practicing meditation and stillness. I ask for inner guidance to assist me in getting more in touch with my spirit. I know that if I ask for guidance, it will be given. Mm, I want to share so much. <laughs> but I got to watch the time because I still got three more decks. And we on the karma cards because what you put out comes back. What goes in must come out. What comes out must go in. What goes up must come down. Oh, child. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoop, two again. Oh, karma cards, karma cards, karma cards. No. Okay, because of the time of year, we're going to stick with this one, which is donate toys to a local holiday toy drive. And this is what this card looks like. And then this is what this card looks like. Share your gifts. Sharing is richness. And then we're going to do a crystal, a chakra crystal card. Because sometimes you just need some good energy to carry around with you when you don't necessarily have all that good energy for yourself, for yourself, with yourself, by yourself, by yourself. In regards to self. Sometimes you need to be protect. You need to protect yourself. You need to protect others from you. That shit flew out. Mm, didn't know that. Okay. So I kept talking about protection. So we're going to stick with meditation. <laughs> I learned something. Um, Zoocyte is in tune with your emotions. The sacred stone can shift emotions and help break through emotional trauma. That water energy. When anxiety and worry flood your mind, this stone will assist you in your meditation. It allows you to use its celestial celestial energy to let go of the angst. And that, my dear, is a pretty green, black, and purplish stone. Kind of matches me today. Except I don't have on any purple. I have on red. Well, red is in my colors. And then we are journeying to our last two cards. We're going to go with the hearts because we have to get through all of these pieces of knowing, which is usually intuition, and then affirming, which is usually speaking, because you got to speak what you know, know what you know. That car flew out, I didn't even know it. Oh, Lord Jesus, which one of these is for me? Oh, that last card is it. Oh, what well, that first card is it. These are mine. I can tell by what they say that those are mine. So we went through, and then we went through the chakras, which is, all you know, the alignment. 
um, the self-care, which is, of course, taking care of self. We did the moon, which is emotions. No, I'm sorry. We did meditation, self-care, moons, chakras, karma, crystal, and now we're here at the heart. Elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Because when you think and focus on your energy of how you're giving your self-love, how you're I'm not supposed to be reading. Elevate your, your love. And then the last card. I ain't playing no games with the Buddha wisdom of the week deck. That last card, I don't know if I showed you, I can't remember, was Elevation from the Power of Love deck. Now, if you want a reading from either one of these decks, your divine nature is the beauty of all beauty. Boom. Straight to the point. They be coming through cutthroat. They said what they said. Your divine nature is the beauty of all beauty. The booties of the booties. The booties of the booties. So, if you want you a specific reading, um, the max I will do per deck for an individual is two cards. Um, and that will be focusing on past three cards past present future per person and it is ten dollars per reading for today only and 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 there was something else but they said no i don't know i'm gonna leave it at that so i love you all stay safe smile keep glowing keep shining no, and you can always count on me. <laughs> I love y'all. That's my joy, my peace, my unconditional self-love, my life, and yes, a little bit of my eternal light. Happy Wisdom of the Week Wednesday.